Three guesses who forgot to turn their uh, audio interface on. Hello, hit me. How are we doing? Do we? I should. Wow, I just started trying to open Ubisoft Connect. It's already open. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Oh. Every... Everything's already going badly. Everything's already going wrong. Well, I've launched the game. That's going to be happening in the next. Here we go. It's doing the thing. The things are being done. The clock. I generally use that clock to. I was going to say to tell the time. What like else do you use? I mean, I. I have a watch. I have a clock on the screen while I was playing. The. It seems to have balked itself. With the website up. Updated how they do things or not, but never mind. Find another one. Works properly. Oh, look. Running an unsupported video driver. Please update your driver for optional performance. They do actually have a new one out. Beta. So I don't I don't want to beta test the NVIDIA driver, but I could do. Apparently, it kind of supports Wayland now. 490 video driver. 470 at the moment. I'm looking forward to be able to ditch X11 and go with uh, Wayland. Before I do that, let's pick up some... Where am I? Oh, there I am. See, the, na the nation leader is vulnerable. do something about that we could murder them very very murdery game isn't it this old assassin breed age of a spa i should watch my 
step around here. Do we have a problem? Once he cleared. <laughs> Picked up another pacifist one, didn't we? Predators all over Greece, bandits all over Greece, and daughters of Artemis. No time limit on that. Yes, a week. Bounty on a Spartan ship, kill the target. Ooh. Where is this target? Do it. Let's go after this target. Let's see if we can kill this Spartan. Should probably have a look at upgrading our boat before we try that. What have we got? Weapons damage. Weapons damage is good, isn't it? Need more. I should probably have been doing this all along. I mean, we we have not had good weapon down. We have, uh... I've been neglecting my boat, haven't I? It's only three out of seven. The fire's good, though. You like the fire? Is there? Euros, Kairos. Welp. Turns out Cassie's not quite quite the jumper or climber I was uh, hoping should be. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Whee! Oh, time to whistle and call my boat. Kind of didn't want to climb up here. Um, 
These guys probably aren't all that friendly, are they? What is this place? I will go there. I will go there because there's a cultist there, but not right now. One, you're forty nine. Okay, getting there. I probably won't attempt just yet. Thanks, Cass. <laughs> I really dislike it when games resend to the camera by themselves. Like, no, I want to look behind me. Let me do that. Now it's doing it. Is there a specific angle that it won't let me uh, view? Constantly fighting this camera just to look where I want to. Um, we've started going extremely slowly. I think I've found the Spartan. That did not much damage, did it? Can I have... Why? I don't understand why it won't let me do the fire. I don't understand how fire works. Like I'm hitting R and it is registering because the icon is flashing, but I don't understand why it's not actually doing it. What's it say? Hold right click and r to shoot fire arrows press r to throw fire javelins so i was doing that and the i right. oh 
かねそれは私が言うと、それは私が言うと、それは私が言うと、それは私が言うと、それは私が言うと、それは私が言うと、それは私が言うと、それは私が言うと、それは私が言うと、I can do that. That works. And I, I, I just don't get it. I don't understand why it's just flashing at me rather than actually firing. Same with the arrows. I'm gonna Google this because I can't. I can't be in combat pressing buttons to fight and have it just not. Especially when it clearly is registering the button press like that. How the hell do you shoot fire arrows from your ship? You need adrenaline. You need enough adrenaline build up, build your aim your arrows if you have an offense. Why could the game not have fucking said that at some point? Like that kind of, that makes sense and I get it. Why could the game not have just said that? Fucking hell. Well, let's do something else. It though it's not that high a level and now we know how fire arrows actually work we might be able to whoops i'll try one more time if it turns out i'm just incompetent at um chip combat then so be it These ships work. Time. Those black sail ones are pirates, right?
I wanted to board it, but I never got the prompt. So fuck it. Cloven in twain. Snake. Um, I think that counted as them ramming us. Initiate boarding. Here we go. Um, wasn't exactly the means by which I wanted to get on their ship, but all right. Guess this will have to do. Did you jump the fuck off? Fucking hell. All right. I mean, you could have aimed at the one in the center of the screen who I was targeting, but no. Someone who was not on the screen at all. Why not? Fuck off. What? I thought I had. Clearly I had... Hello. <laughs> Clearly I had not actually... Uh... Uh, ship now has full health. Hello, whale. That hero has fucked the fuck off. I want to take command of my ship. Right, now we board again. Because um, I would quite like some more health. I think that was all of them. No? Wow, you are putting up with a lot. Whoa, you just killed my friends. Fuck off. I'm to loot the uh, your ship's treasure. Hop back over here. Save. No, I can't save. Can you actually take command? Hello?
That was the shittiest ram ever. Waste arrows. Um, whoops. Hey, Fist of Zeus. That's a nice color scheme. What have we got? A uh, ship. Hey, we can upgrade ship. Yeah, let's go with this. Though Poseidon ruled the waves, Zeus had the mastery of the air. His blessing on sea voyages was vital for a crew, for all wanted good wind to carry them swiftly and safely to their destination. Send them a wall of fire, well, I think we've learned a lot about ship combat today. not actually done a quest that wasn't the guy we were actually wanting to kill killing but salvage Dolphin or shark? Um, you're gonna kill us. Yep, they killed us. We kind of need to pick them off one at a time, don't we? Alright, let's go after the two little boys first. Or are we heading right for them?
you go the other side. No, can you go the other side? No? Alright then. Can you shoot a fire arrow? Got him. Hey, we did it. What have we got? What equipment are you alerting me about? Literally nothing I care about. Maybe it's a bow? No, it is not a bow. Helmet? No. Races? Oh. What the fuck is it that was better than what I'm already wearing then? Because nothing that I saw was. We got burn the black flag though. Good. Alright, there's a mercenary over here we've got to kill. Go this way. Got him. And we can now pick up that tree. What a sense. How open is it? This is me going completely the wrong way. The quest isn't marked on my compass. Like it's on, like I, I, I can see it in the overworld. I was expecting it on my compass. Well, let's run through a cactus. Andrew just doesn't give a shit. I'm running straight for civilization. understand what it means when the life bar flashes gold briefly is it 
I should probably Google that as well, because I've been wondering this for literally years now. Health bar. You can spell neither health nor bar. Health bar. Gold. How to use a powered up golden bar. Where have you been? Hmm? No, that's no bar under health. Hmm. No, this is all talking about the adrenaline bar, which is uh, different. Talk about when an maybe if I type enemy, 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 close enough. No, no clue. Yeah. No, uh, no one seems to be. None of the results I found seem to apply to this the health bar flashing gold. They're all talking about the adrenaline bar, which is not what I mean. Go to Spartan soldiers. Oh, there. There's the Spartan soldiers. Okay. So we kill the Spartan soldiers. Get some money from it. Kill the Athenian soldiers. Get some money from it. Everybody wins. Well, apart from the people like kill, obviously. But they're... Uh... Victimless details. Who's got the archer? You do find the archer, do tell me. So we'll never find out where the Maybe archer was. <laughs> I don't think they will. Somehow I think... I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Whoops. Come on, face that way. Thank you. Alright, so that was the Spartan soldiers. We kill some Athenians while we're here. Oh, okay. 
I can't fast travel because this is a fort. It barely counts. be doing that. Filozinos the Hippogriff. I guess we're not actually balancing anything out by doing both of these, are we? Because these are two very different geographical interests. And the uh, Spartans in Attica were very much the underdog laying siege to capital actually of Athens of oh. yeah actually of Athens Not to have killed all the Athenians yet. You are a heavy sleeper. How oh, did you sleep through me murdering all of your friends and a fucking leopard attack as well? Whatever. What am I doing now? Destroy partnership. Does the one I just killed not count for that? All five battles against the arena champions. Button seals? Athenian seals? Followers of Ares? Mercenary. Gotta get there quick. I've got 40 minutes to do this.
How come the auto attacks fucking miss? And if I just hammer left click, it works. No, want to do this? Sword. What is that attack called? What is this? That one. Hero strike. Oh, it's assassin type. Of course it's assassin then in this tree. Okay. And all these things I want require require more more spear. There aren't even eleven abilities I want. I wanna level up the ones I've got. There's a shipwreck. I would not be diving in this water personally. That's a bit shallow. I also wouldn't do any diving in, like, armor. Like, that seems like going swimming with a brick. With unhealthy. A mercenary. With all the fighting going on, you'd think I'd have an easier time getting hired as a mercenary soldier. Who are you looking to be hired by? Athens? Sparta? Either. Both. I don't care. So long as there is Rachmin. Maybe if the armies take some losses, they'll be more interested in mercenaries. So you want me to gut every single Spartan? Are you up for it? I don't think that's exactly I what she you. said, but okay. You have my word. Please, get this done quick. Leave it to me. <gasps> Time to kill some Spartans. Is there a fast travel point closer? No, there is not. <laughs> and you know what? I didn't want to go up there anyway. They have to be so far away.
wasn't meant for you. Conscious of that wild boar that sort of that should hurt the Spartans here. Let's go back. Talk to this very friendly mercenary and give her the good news. Sparta may soon be hiring. Round might be the quicker way. Oh, there's even a bridge. Convenient. This bridge did not pass any health and safety standards. Push him off. <laughs> Nearly fell off myself then. No, look, you just won't fall off. Damn these Greeks and their sense of balance. You know, that's what Greece is famous for, right? you kill them every last them. one every last one payment well earned mercenary take this as thanks surely you know that mercenary work is best done alone fine <laughs> maybe we'll meet again if poseidon wills it Hey, what have we got? Oh. So, let's go here. I'm going to take a short break because I kind of need to go get a drink like in a couple of minutes very soon.
Oh, again? I brought tea. He is good. Right, we were going to kill a soldier. You know what they say, all is fair in love and war. I mean, we're doing, we're doing the army a favor, really, aren't we? Like. He's kind of a mole. That's why. That's why the woman wanted us to kill him anyway, because he knows. Doesn't look like a. Oh, never mind. He does. Oh. Whoops. Put the burning body down. Cass, put him down. Oof. Just a word of advice, just in general. Just take, I'll give you this one for free. Um, if you see a body in the middle of the road and it's on fire, don't pick it up. Advice for life from Trill. I should charge for this. I really should. I killed your boyfriend. You again. Have you killed him? Yep. Your man is dead. I'm glad I put my faith in you, Mistios. Please, take this. I always finish what I've started. <coughs> um, is that a... Proposition, Cass? That's this politician. I love how people are just putting up bounties to kill specific people, politicians no less. Just on the on the board, on the notice board, by that statue. And no one seems to think anything of it. Like, we're getting paid, so it's obviously not anonymous. People know who is putting these up. And yet, I'm the one who gets into trouble for uh, just doing the inevitable, actually. Hey, Liquid, how are you doing? Um, do you think he's dead? It says confirm the kill. He's on fire and not moving. And especially not screaming. Do you think he's dead? I don't know, I think this needs confirmation. I don't know, if he didn't believe he was dead before, why would he believe that now? Just killed us. I just killed. I just destroyed a Spartan ship and it didn't count. Uh, talk to the talk to the hunter. Oh, we leveled up. It's now 12 ability points we can't use yet. There's no way there's 12 
things I want to put points in that I'm going to be able to use as soon as um, I kill is it nine cultists. So, um, right, what does this hunter want? My family has been hunting this area for generations. Now this Malaka, calls himself Pelor, has moved in. He's got traps everywhere. There's hardly any game left because of him. You need me to deal with him. That would be ideal. You could say... You could say the hunter All right. is becoming I'll the hunted. It. I mean, he's saying, oh, there's, there's no, there's no game left. Whereas, we just run past a fucking load of goats. How the fuck did that miss both of them? Fuck's sake. Ow. You can't attack me in the middle of an animation. That's just not fair. That's cheating. Yeah. So not only is auto craft enabled, I wasn't even using the good arrows. do automatically set themselves on fire though. Oh, we can use this now. Nice. I'm going to keep the headgear on. At least while I'm using this <coughs> helmet. Yeah, that should uh, give me the Greek hero set. 30% at all resistances. Nice. This helmet doesn't make it to where I disappear, but it does make them all confident with a blade. 20% chance to ignore half damage. That's not bad for a, something offering as little protection as this. That reminds me. The good arrows. even have anything to lose and i love how little she gives a shit i just killed someone she was apparently sleeping with but she just does not care Okay. Are you really going after that with your fists? <laughs> I think that would have had a somewhat poetic irony if I let the cat kill her. I guess now she sat by a fire to contemplate mortality. Had a hell of a day. He's only just woken up. 
I love how as well, it turns out she did give a shit. He was just really not very attentive and didn't notice that the person she was with was in fact dead. It took her a long time to get up, walk around, go back to sleep, get up again, turn around, and then notice that the man was dead. Didn't even have time to process it before I fucking... Ass of some kind, the lynx. Tried to Has kill her. He been dealt with, Miss Theos? She won't be bothering anyone anymore. I always finish what I've started. <laughs> hey, did seven. We're, not, we're halfway there. Desertion promise. Talk to the Athenian soldier. A mile away. Oh, right next to the the uh, what's it? The, the mercenary. He wanted me to kill a bunch of people. Probably is it Spartans? She wants me to kill prop. There should be a fast travel point over here. Just walking, just at the arena would make sense. I'm to walk into the valley every time. It's just long. A goat. Cross the bridge. See if we can knock someone off this time. I was really disappointed. was not the efficient way around. Oh well. Let's just dive straight across here. The water's pretty though. You're the last person in the arena. Well, last but one, isn't it? Because I think the last person in the arena is the doorman. From what I remember right. Talk to the Athenian soldier. The other one who's napping. Hello. You left a message on the board. What's the matter? It seems we have a deserter problem. I fail to see how this is my problem. For enough pay, could it be your problem? I'm listening. I can't let those deserters live, but there's too many for me to take care of myself. I also suspect there's a Spartan spy among my ranks, inciting them to leave. 
And you want me to send him to the Underworld? Ah, not only do you possess the strength of Heraclis, but the wits of Hermes too. Yes, because you are being so cryptic about your intention here, soldier. Here you go. Thank you. Please be quick. She just left. Into it. I mean, if these soldiers can't handle two little leopards and a pig. that miss <laughs> what the fuck did i miss that oh were you hungry if he dies by a pig do i fail the quest I'll just have to move far enough away that unloads him from Ram so he can't die. Should be right over here. Well and now we return to the Athenian soldier who's hopefully not um, egg food. For the parkour in Assassin's Creed. Doesn't look like he's dead. Be some piggies over there, though. You again? Have you killed him? Your man is dead. I knew you were the type to get the job done. Here, take this as a sign of my gratitude. That'll do. Funnily enough, the iron is worth more than the uh, drachmi. Mainly because, um... Kind of, look how much I... I'm not buying anything. <laughs> That's, uh... The issue, I'm just dismantling and upgrading and just using the loot that I've already got. I need to kill five. Do that. You've gone up a level. You were level 40, 49 before. Why are you upgrading?
all of these. I'm sure you've leveled up as well. go see uh, Pericles. Who is here? Nice for there to be a leader house I'm actually welcoming. And I'm not trying to kill the leader. We'll be watching you, Mistyos. At least give them a welcome first. Fine. Pericles welcomes you to his symposium. Oh, thank you. Bob. Cassandra, it's you. Phoebe. Phoebe. You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have. I also said stay out of trouble. Which I have. Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe? I needed a draft me for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here, for Pericles? No, for Aspasia. How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No, she asked me on her own. That was lucky. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... Okay, Cassandra herself is a weapon. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? 
Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? <laughs> no weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Right, here are the toss. Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will, if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their Yoink. opinionated tongue. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, Euripides. <laughs> 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 very into that is this this is fucking reddit in a room it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies you should drink more lately his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works however the fellow beside him protagoras is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great socrates himself who is also standing right there? Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. <laughs> I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. <laughs> that isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates. Always and here is Alcibiades. Expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me. What does a mystios like you think of a party Lance. like this? Don't be rude to the serving staff. This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now... If you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere. And he I is a Spartan, after all. If he's alone, 
I'd tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Of course, I only use the terms war or god or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this <laughs> man of nonsense. Sure. sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. I saw Cleon talk at the Pnyx. Even for a politician, he's scum. Bah! You sound like every other blowhard in this place. Cleon is a champion of the people. And he's ready to tear down Pericles' elitism. I take it you and Pericles are... Elitism like you. Hardly. Ernipos led the Tsars to have Aspasia ostracized and to see Pericles stripped of power. Not that it worked yet. Pericles is the past. He's more worried about losing a few precious statues than he is fighting and winning the war. Cleon will rule this city and return it to greatness. Mark my words. Oh, heard that one before. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she isn't? To observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here. <laughs> My opinion, it's just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. Ah. If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. I'm looking for clues to help me find a woman. She was Spartan. Looking and finding are quite different things, wouldn't you say? I could have no shit. Offering sacrifice to the gods, but does that mean in so doing that I have myself found God? Or <laughs> oh, forget it. This has you know been what? useless. Here. I agree with you. He is absolutely a man of nonsense. Just cutting shit. I should be more methodical. Thank you for your help, my friend. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? Yes, you come and talk to this infuriating air brother. <laughs> I've had my fill. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point again. Yes, um, doesn't want me to talk to Socrates. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You are at least he's self-aware. You could talk to every Pidis. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> no, you don't. Contentious cunt. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argive than Athenian. 
Impressive foreigner. Evipidis is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evipidis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I'm the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to Evipides, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. <laughs> you're awfully worked up over Evipides. You sure you're just friends? Aww. I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, Evipides and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. He's jealous. That doesn't make sense. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. Oof. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Olive oil. Uh. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man Well, I wouldn't peg Evipides. you at all. Get fucked. I'm Evripivis. I'm Evripivis. So you said. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripivis likes to say. Don't you, Evripivis? When I need to relax, I start a fight. <laughs> For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. The good impressionist. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring muscles. Yes. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning. I perhaps one drink. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? And yes, they are wine pouring. This, this is pure swill, amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round. You ready for another? Yes. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breathing, and vulgar manners. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. <laughs> Pericles has invited... I 
can hardly stomach this pig's piss. I could out drink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. Do these give different answers? Why don't you just apologize to If they get more drunk. It's he who should apologize. Sophocles is a friend. Don't see him soon. This wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. I'd really rather not. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every Pidis? Drunk, I hope. Yes. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pidis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. You're, if you see Pericles, you were hiding in the kitchen. Tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Sorry. I talk to everyone in here. Sorry. Not the goat. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door. Wide, wide open for you. Yeah. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. Oh, how convenient. I actually... She's not in there. <laughs> I think I'll check all the same. Do I happen to? Uh... I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Mm, no. Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd uh, earn her independence. 
the smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Prostitutes? This is serious. They don't like being called that. And for good reason, they offer so much more than their bodies. Such as... These women are companions, counselors, confidants. Powerful men come to the Etera asking for advice and value their words more than those of their closest friends and advisors. Ali! Come back inside! Huh? Oh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Kind of wasn't expecting. That uh, dialogue option to be so anti-sex worker is unfortunate. Now, right, let's talk to Socrates. Howdy. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. What? I think we agreed. Our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. I don't think we've ever ah, spoken. You remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? I don't think we've talked to each other. But okay. You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasima Hoss. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. But you just then said Then you succeed. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Lights. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Cover up my work where? Okay. 
I did what I had to, and I'd do it again. I make no apologies. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. Oh yes, perfect. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician That's who we are. Socrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. What do you mean by that? Mostly legitimate anyway. What do you mean by that? That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. This way? Nope. Other door. Um, other, other door? Maybe this way? Um, this is... This isn't where I park my car. Nope. This way? Here's the stairs. Go see Pericles. Cassandra! Get all the I toes. didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, <laughs> she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for Am her. I a guest? You just told me to fuck off. You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. Boss. And of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but one day when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. Ooh, we have met so Socrates. You did this to protect him. I guess we'll never know. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send him a Diochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. 
seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erovodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people mm -hmm. every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing the their already strongest here. weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia, send me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. I need to get my clothes back. Oh, we can't climb. We can't climb in this dress. Use the stairs like a... Okay, Phoebe. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? Yeah, let's, let's go. I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? Chaos, Ogilis, Corinthia. Okay. There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. Yep. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Go and bang the pirate queen. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. I've been back That's to Kefalonia. True. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. All right. Bye-bye. Bye Letter to the master, Cultist Clue. Cultists are unmasked. Ghost of Cosmos. Hunt all the sages to reveal the ghost. Can I track you? Oops, wrong, wrong one. Also the wrong one. Hang on, level four. Level 48, you've gone, you've gone down. You, the fuck? Your level, I swear your level is constantly changing. I swear you were level 50 a minute ago. I, uh, uh. I have no. That's where, that's where, yeah, because I, I, I got you. But this, this is where, oh, Kios is this one. Right next to this one, okay. That's a that's a picture I took. That's a picture I took. This is another picture I took. Uh -oh. That's exactly who we're gonna go and see. Nice. But alas, that will have to be tomorrow. Ten minutes past oh, it's nearly quarter past mid. Alright, so let's let's quit. And I'll be back tomorrow with some more uh, Assassin's Creed. Go and raid.
see who's uh, streaming. Loads of there's loads of people. Get loads of people online. All right, let's open some streams and let's see if we can go and visit without. Uh, Do 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 all of the adverts all of the in fact i say all of the adverts let's be real it's the same advert over and over and over and over again hey what shall we go and see mermaid unicorn who is doing a three-year part anniversary awesome Let's, um, great messages. Right. That's what we should do. That's great message. Subs. Here's a message. If you go and say hello to mermaid unicorn. You're on Twitch. Who is doing, um, mermaid. They're a fantastic streamer on Twitch. Great singer, great um, musician over in, gen uh, in general. They're doing a subathon and they're doing a road mic giveaway. It is awesome. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow and good night.